great. So the phone is rooted now. That's that's a good thing, no? So that means that we can now install custom ROMs. Let's let's take a look at the recovery. What happened if we have some custom recovery installed? We're gonna uh, reboot the phone. Reboot. And I'm gonna hold down power and home. Press the power on. Boom. Let go. And it should bring us into a recovery. Not sure which one. And it's showing uh, Android system recovery uh, third. So in fact, we are rooted, but we have no recovery yet installed. Okay. Apply update ADB, etc., etc. So now we're gonna install a custom recovery. Okay, though, now we rooted the phone. The phone is rooted, okay? So what we're gonna do now, um, let's, let's turn on USB bugging, USB debugging. We're gonna go to the build number, okay? And we just enabled the developer's options. And we're gonna go to developers options and I'm gonna turn on USB debugging. Okay, you see that? USB debugging is now enabled. All right, and I'm also gonna uh, select, oh, that's not in here. Okay, that's not in here. So we're gonna turn it off again or just reboot reboot start holding the home and the power I mean the volume down and the home see that now press it up and now the phone is into a download mode official this is the official download mode okay so now we're gonna go back to that folder that you got from me the CF root okay and we're gonna run as an administrator again yes okay and now you're gonna find another file so we're going for the clockwork mod 6 that's what we're gonna install on this thing uh, i'm just gonna go back into download mode I'm going back into download boom okay we put it up the volume and we go to AP and I have another recovery here in downloads and I just hope that this thing is gonna work and we're gonna start it it's working boom there we go grand prime and now we're gonna kick out the battery see if everything goes good phone is booting up so now we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get into the recovery I trust in clockwork mod man so um, as you can see now we just flashed the clockwork mod 6 into this phone so now we can go ahead and install custom ROMs for this phone yeah that's what you thought Buck well, it's not so easy because, in fact, for Clockwork Mod 6, I could not find any good custom ROM out there that would, you know, that I would want to install on that phone. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot the phone now. I'm just gonna say no for fixing the root and then the phone will boot up. And now it's time to go and find myself some very nice, beautiful ROM that I can install on this yeah this adult lady now eh? now it's adult eh? first it was virgin maria now welcome to the world of rooted phones <laughs> that was it so we rooted the phone we installed clockwork mod 6 and now i'm gonna look for a nice room to install on this on this phone it's the 530 f z remember that okay so clockwork mod 6 works
So we're gonna try it again. We're gonna open Arden, run it as administrator. Yes. We go for AP. Uh, gonna go to downloads, and there it is. Recovery trip for Fortuna. So that is special for this phone. So let's see if this will go. It's flashing. Okay, it flashed. Rebooting the phone. And we should now be able to go into the recovery mode. If all goes good. There we go. We just installed Twerp. Okay. So now we're gonna. Um, so in fact, we routed the phone. Okay. We routed the phone with Arden, and we installed a custom recovery called Twerp. Okay. Welcome back. I'm gonna try another run. And I'm happy that we installed Twerp. Install. From internal SD card, external SD card. And it was CM12 for the Fortuna. Hey. Hey, we're having some luck here, peeps. So we got rid of the custom run successfully. Okay, very nice. Wipe catch. Back, reboot system. If you don't have the right files for this phone, eh, you're gonna get a lot of trouble to get it to run. There we go, we did it, we fixed it. So, uh, the procedure was put the phone into a download mode, root it, that's one. Put it back into a download mode, install twerp. Okay, though. And then go ahead and get this ROM. It's the CM12 for this phone. It's not the best ROM yet, but uh, it's better than going uh, or being on 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 the on the stock ROM. At least that's what I think. I'm gonna test this ROM. This ROM was uh, created by. Um, let me see who the boys were of this room. Well, let's see who these boys were. These guys were putting the room also on a, on a terrible side. This side should be forbidden, man. But anyway, let me see who these guys are. Well, I think I just lost them, peeps. They sent me so much banners that I had to close all these... All these uh, all these files so yeah I cannot say it so for now this phone is gonna stay on uh, on this I think it's nice nice that we have the phone back alive because we did many testing and in fact you don't have to see everything that I did. I did learn many things of this phone tonight. But the procedure is very simple. 
uh, to root it and if you skip I mean <laughs> if you skip if you uh, if you rooted it and you install twerp then you can immediately go back into the recovery mode do a wipe you know delete your uh, existing Android that's on the phone and install Cyanogen mod boom there it is you see that so and let's see what's working is the cam working oh the cam has uh, a little bit strange uh, <laughs> that looks really strange so uh, but it made a good picture you see that it shows strange but you are not allowed to see what you are filming you see that and how to put it on video on camera like this and it's not going on camera I think I don't know what we are doing now it's just a photo so um, yeah what can I say what can I say we created something here that is having strange attitudes but then again about the phone 502 we're back to 502 Fortuna here it is but we are rooted now about the phone we are rooted 100% let me see okay we enable developers options let's take a look here root access disabled apps only boom see that root is also enabled sorry for the light this should be a little bit better i think so there we are that's how to root and install custom firmware on the g530 uh, what was it G F Z, I think F Z, F Z. that's all that's to it peeps well that was it I did a lot of playing with the thing the thing was on 502 stock firmware we rooted it was easy with Arden and then um, we flush we flashed a twerp I think it's version 2 point something so twerp recovery is installed on this thing um, I found one ROM it seems to be hard to find ROMs for this model um, I underestimated it a little bit um, I thought this thing would be running uh, lineage 7 already but uh, none of that is the case uh, not for now yet uh, maybe soon because there is a lineage out there but even though it's saying that it works on the phone, this thing needs um, a twerp 3. Dot something, the latest twerp, uh, to be installed. And I have I have problems uh, updating this twerp. I I did it the way uh, it should be done, and got the APK file, you know, run it, pointed to the Galaxy Prime, and in fact, it did not go. So. It was not successful the update of this twerp um, so what can I advise I can I advise you to um, root your phone I don't think you need a custom recovery you know I, I should not know for what uh, just root your phone and and you know you'll be able to uninstall or delete apps bloodware from this thing samsung apps and things like that and make sure that you also download the original rom and it's downloading now it's gonna take 45 long minutes for a file of 752 megabyte because this thing um yeah it's nice but it's not so functional on these custom roms yet at least maybe it will never be 
but the original rom is also very nice especially if you can root it so um, i think rooting this device is the best thing you can do for it um, and this particular model is the g530 fz okay and in some ways yeah it's really hard to 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 kind of install uh any rom on it because they just kill my android <laughs> i uh, almost uh, also killed the recovery i updated the twerp and then suddenly i had no recovery anymore and you saw the fix the fix was easy we just went back into download mode pointed to Arden, um, started Arden with administrator rights and pound pointed in Arden to the clockwork mod 6 recovery so the thing was suddenly on 6 again and then we did it back to twerp and then it worked <laughs> crazy yeah <laughs> crazy so i will have to find out more about this particular model uh, until then i want to say uh, thank you for watching it was uh, for me a very long journey it's uh, way too late i'm not gonna tell you what time it is way too late so uh, i'm going to bed wish you all the best with your galaxy prime it's a very nice phone i must say um sure i have no no complaints uh, about it and uh, soon we also gonna uh, do some nice things with the Samsung S4 also in my possession now thanks to Anna so Anna also thank you there for you know for the S4 with the cracks you know I'm seen to get all sorts of phones with cracks the S4 mini also cracked but it's all about the hardware inside to discover and see what we can do with them so you can have great information out of my uh, foundings and all my failures so i can tell you what is good and what is not good yo guys thank you for watching and girls of course love to see my next video if you like this video you know what to do until then